Number one, the frilled shark. You might have seen this video circulating on YouTube. Humans rarely encounter frilled sharks, which prefer to remain in the ocean's depth, up to 5,000 feet or 1,500 meters below the surface. Considered living fossils, frilled sharks bear many physical characteristics of ancestors who swam the seas in the time of the dinosaurs. This 5.3 foot or 1.6 meter specimen was found in shallow water in Japan in 2007 and transferred to a marine park. It died hours after being caught. Kinda looks like my stepmother. Number two, the giant spider crab. Thought to be one of the largest anthropods on earth, the giant spider crabs spend their time forging on the ocean floor up to 1,000 feet or 300 meters. These rare, leggy behemoths, native to the water of Japan, can measure up to 12 feet or 3.7 meters from claw tip to claw tip. This 5 foot or 1.5 meter specimen was photographed in Japan's Sagami Bay. Imagine buttering up those crab legs. Number 4. The Fang Tooth Fish the nightmarish fangtooth is among the deepest living fish ever discovered. The fish's normal habitat ranges as high as about 6,500 feet or 2,000 meters, but it has been found swimming at icy, crushing depths of nearly 16,500 feet or 5,000 meters. Fangtooth fish reach only about 6 inches or 16 centimeters long, but their namesake teeth are the largest proportionate to body size of any fish. Anybody want a BJ? Number five, the six gill shark. Six gill sharks, like this one off the coast of Vancouver, cruise the ocean floor during the day, sometimes as deep as 8,200 feet or 2,500 meters, then move towards the surface at night to feed. They can reach impressive lengths of 16 feet or 4.8 meters on a diet of other sharks, rays, squids, crabs, and occasionally seals. I wonder if they're eating the giant spider crab. Butter. Number six, giant tube worms. Crushing pressure, freezing temperatures, and zero sunlight isn't enough of a challenge for giant tube worms. They've adapted to thrive at the edge of hydrothermal vents, which spew out superheated water saturated with toxic chemicals. This colony was photographed 1.5 miles below the ocean surface on the East Pacific rise near the Galapagos Islands. Number seven, the vampire squid. Vampire squid is an apt name for a creature that lurks in the lightness depths of the ocean. Comfortable at 10,000 feet or 3,000 meters below the surface, these diminutive cephalopods navigate the blackness with their eyes that are proportionally the largest of any animal on earth. The species gets its name from its dark, webbed arms, which it can draw over itself to look like a cloak. It occupies the mesopelagic and bathypelagic regions of temperate and tropical ocean worlds. The animal psychology has adapted to enable it to live at the very low oxygen levels found within the oxygen minimum layers of these regions. Number 8. The Pacific Viperfish The Pacific Viperfish has jagged, needle-like teeth so outsized it can't close its mouth. The deep sea demons reach only about 8 inches, 25 centimeters long. They troll the depths up to 13,000 feet, luring prey with bioluminescent photophores on their bellies. The same way I get girls. Number 9. The Dragonfish Although they are found at depths of nearly 2 kilometers, the dragonfish actually starts its life at the surface of the ocean, as a result of its egg being buoyant. Like many other deep sea creatures, it eventually becomes capable of producing its own light using a method known as bioluminescence, after which it descends to the depths. One of its many light-producing photophores can be found on a barbell attached to its lower jaw, which it most likely uses for hunting. A fish with a fishing hook. Number 10. The Black Swallower. Also known as the Great Swallower. The capacity of this little monster to engulf and digest things is significantly larger than itself should not be underestimated. In fact, it can consume prey over 10 times its own mass. A lot like my ex-girlfriend. 